सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो एंड बाय द वे हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू मई ऑल योर होप्स आर फुलफिल्ड एंड ऑल योर ड्रीम्स कम ट्रू सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वीव मेड अ बेसिक सेटअप फॉर द गेम अटैक डेथ कैमरा कंट्रोल एंड जॉम्बी फॉलोइंग द कैरेक्टर सो मेक श्योर टू चेक आउट दीज वीडियोज द लिंक विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड ऑल इट सी वॉट यू आर डूइंग इन दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वन वी आर मेकिंग दीज मैनी थिंग्स अबाउट द वेपन like picking the weapon shooting separation of total rounds with total ammo reload recoil and bullet hit so make sure to save this playlist and subscribe the channel for more of some videos and now let's get started so let's first make the pick weapons well we don't need any weapon to link it to the player because we have this shooting animation in the player we just need to add an object so by collecting it chloe can access to the weapon so i added this object and now we'll use this to pick weapons and also we'll give a boolean variable to the player and we'll name it shoot change it to boolean and initial value will be false and we'll make it true when we pick the weapon and now let's see what we have to do in the events so first let's add a group and name it shoot and add an event and in the condition add if chloe is in collision with the gun and that's where we want to give shooting access to chloe so add an action of boolean value of object variable set a chloe and select the variable shoot and change it to true and also add an action for delete the object and select gun so that's how we will pick the weapon and now let's make shooting mechanism So first double click on the player and go to the edit points and here we'll assign a point from where the bullets will be created just add a point and name it shoot and we'll place it on the gun for that go to the animation and select the shoot and place this point here and also add this extension for fire bullets and also we'll give fire behavior to the object for that go to the object and in the behaviors add a behavior of this fire bullets and just uncheck this because we don't want it to reload automatically hit apply and now let's see what we have to do in the events now add a new event and add a condition here for when chloe is not dead well you can directly copy and paste from here just copy this condition and paste it here and now add a sub event and copy and paste this condition change the death to shoot and change it to true and this is where we will start shooting so now add a sub event and add a condition for when mouse button is pressed and select the right button and also add trigger ones and in the action change the animation of chloe to shoot now add another sub event and in the condition we will add a scene variable so we can switch between shooting towards left when we flip so for that add a boolean value of scene variable name it shooting and let it be false so false will be for shooting towards right and true for left and in the action add fire bullets and select this one select chloe and here we'll specify the point we just created from where the bullets will be created now copy and paste this condition and make it capital y and from here select the bullet and here we will specify the angle so 0 is towards the right and 180 towards the left so this action is for shooting towards the right so we'll just give it the angle 0 and set the speed to 1500 and now copy and paste this whole event just change it to true and change it to 180 so it will be for shooting towards the left and in the character movements for when moving towards the left we'll add an action for boolean value of scene variables select shooting and change it to true and now copy and paste this event and change it to false when it is moving towards the right 
and let me just push them under this group and now for controlling the animations we'll add a event and in the condition add if current animation of chloe is shoot and also add one more condition if it is finished trigger it once and in the action change the animation to idle and add a sub event and add a condition for end and in the sub condition copy and paste this condition and make it invert and also add if chloe is moving and in the action change the animation to run and now copy and paste this whole event and make it non inverted and change it from moving to jumping and change the animation to shoot and now let's see if it works so as you can see initially when i don't pick the weapon nothing really works but when i pick it and then click the mouse button she started shooting and now let's make separation for total ammo and total rounds so for that let's first add two more variables in chloe first will be the number of rounds and the second will be for number of ammo both will be integer types and let the values be zero and also let's add an object so we can collect ammo by collecting it i'll take it from the asset store and let's take this one and add it to the scene and now let's see what we have to do in the events so first add an empty event and in the condition add when chloe is in collision with ammo and trigger it once and in the action add object variable of chloe select ammo and add it to 7 and copy and paste this delete action and change it to ammo and also when we are colliding with the gun we want a preloaded round so for that copy and paste this event here and change it to round and now let's make the reload for that add an event below and in the condition check if shooting variable is equals to true and also add another condition of chloe and select the value of object variable select ammo and check if it is greater than 0 and also copy and paste this condition change it to round and set it equals to 0 and in the action add wait condition and let's give it 1 seconds so this will be the reloading time for the gun and copy and paste this action and change it to subtract by 7 and now add an action for reload select this action and select chloe and also copy and paste this action and now add a event below this mouse condition and in the condition add just fired and select chloe so we'll subtract a round variable by 1 after every shot fired and in the action copy and paste this condition and change it to subtract by 1 so whenever she fires we'll subtract the round variable by 1 and also copy and paste this condition right here and change it to greater than 0 and now go to the scene and we will now add two more ui text object to see if it is working just add a new object and select this text display ui and first we'll make for round and give the initial value to 0 and let's add it to the scene and we'll make one more just duplicate this and rename it by ammo and also add it to the scene and now copy and paste this action here change it to round and we'll change this health variable to round variable and paste it again and change it to ammo and change the variable to ammo 
and also copy and paste this trigger once and now let's see if it works so as you can see when i pick the weapon i already have seven preloaded bullets and when i collect these bullets it increases the ammo variable and now let's see what happens when we first collect the ammo and then weapon so if I pick up the bullets first, it will continuously increase the ammo variable and when I pick the weapon and shoot all the 7 bullets, it will be automatically reloaded. So for adding recoil, we just have to add a force opposite to the angle she is shooting. So for that, add an action here for add force towards an angle. Select Chloe and and give the angle that will be opposite to the angle she is shooting and let's give it a speed of 300 and let it be an instant force and now copy and paste this action here and just change it to zero and now whenever you shoot you will experience a recoil and now let's quickly make bullet hit for that add a condition here for when bullet is in collision with let's say one of the zombies and in action, we'll subtract the health of the zombie. For that, copy this action and paste it here. And change it to subtract by 20. And also add one more action for deleting the bullet. Oh, sorry. And now copy and paste this whole event and change it to And now let's see if it works. So now as you can see whenever I hit the bullet the zombies health is subtracting by 20. So this is pretty much it for this video. You can like the video if you like the content and if you have any doubts or feedbacks you can just comment down below. Save this playlist for upcoming videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year.